Okay, guys, toying around a little bit. Welcome back. This is Eric here with Guitar Arsenal. And uh, so Josh at JHS uh, recently did a roundup on Dan Electro pedals. Okay, he went through the entire history of Dan Electro as a company, primarily focusing on some of the really cool and odd, quirky pedals that came out in the early uh, to mid-90s. Okay? And uh, after watching his episode, I kind of thought, you know, it, it struck a chord with me, literally, because the first effects pedal that I ever played through back in the day was the red Dan Electro Fab Tone, which we have here. Now, it doesn't sound as good as I remember it as a kid, but we do have a Daddio here that we're going to be showing you. So some of you might have clicked through this video. Maybe you saw this link somewhere and you're shopping for one of these and want to know the character of, of what they sound like um, and everything. We thought it'd be cool to go through some of these Dan Electros. So you're going to be seeing some videos on the channel where we're going through some of these old school Dan Electro pedals. I'm running the Dan Echo uh, for a bit of slapback. That's kind of cool. All right, and let's get rid of the daddy -o. Sorry, daddy -o. Be back in a minute. All right, let's listen to the next signal from the uh, 68 Super Reverb. All right, I feel it's worth mentioning. I made a, a little bit of a modification to my Super Reverb. It's a super easy uh, thing that Cesar Diaz did to his... Uh, to Stevie Ray's amps back in the day. I pulled the V1 and V5 tube out, so I don't have vibrato. <laughs> I can't use the vibrato on the amp. I do have a splash of reverb on the amplifier, so let's give the uh, Super Reverb a listen. Some of you have been watching my channel for a while. Let me know if you notice a difference in the sound and the clean sound with this guitar. All right, here we go. kind of that bluesy thing but it can do you know whatever It's a super, guys. You get the idea. All right, here's the Daddio. Now, the cool thing about the Daddio is that it's got a three-band EQ, and you guys know I really love to be able to play with the mids. It's 
especially with an amp like the Super where it's such a mid scoop frequency range, it helps to have a mid control on a pedal just to get that uh, back in order if it's something you really need to hear more of uh, in the rig. Okay, uh, we can see that the treble, bass, and mids are relatively noon, maybe just shy of noon. Really, the whole pedal is just shy of noon. So let's uh, give it a listen. Okay, uh, here's the sound we had in the intro with the, uh, the Daddy O from Dan Electro. Now keep in mind, guys, these are like $40, $50 pedals. They're not super expensive. Um, they made a ton of these things. Let's give it a listen. play with the knobs. Let's get those mids up, get our treble out, bass kind of low. Let's give a uh, boosted mid frequency range. Let's boost the OD a little bit here, see how this sounds. Leaving the volume alone, Chad, on this one. very bassy. Let's break the mids out and try to get more of the EQ profile of the Super. So let's get kind of a nice fat bass, some sparkly high, break the mid off, get the gain a little lower. Okay, see how this sounds on the neck pickup. Do a little echo in there for fun.
How's that sound? Kind of copying the, you know, profile there. You know, it, it is a great pedal. Uh, and one thing about these that are, that are really cool too, okay, is the fact that, you know, they've got this really cool Art Deco look to them, you know, almost like a vehicle or a car, or like an old Oldsmobile or a Cadillac or something cool like that. You know, you got like the kind of heat sink uh, looking like radiator fins on the side and the almost kind of like owl look to it, you know, that looks like the old school cars and stuff. So it's really neat. And all the colors that these things came in were all like old school, cool, uh, you know, car colors and stuff, which is really neat. Um, so the Daddy-O is capable of some really cool sounds. Let's get on the top end of the overdrive. We are introducing a noise floor. Back off on that just a bit. Let's leave our EQ where it's at. There's some pretty powerful EQ shaping uh, that's going on here. Uh, the Daddy-O really reminds me of like a cranked blackface Fender amp. So it pairs perfectly with a Fender amplifier, especially with something like a Strat. Uh, it's a match made in heaven. Such a great setup. All right, let's uh, give this a listen. And then we're going to, you know, kind of let you guys get back to your day. I mean, this is a pretty straightforward pedal review. Just trying to dial a few sounds, let you know what this thing can do, you know. Maybe you guys enjoyed it some. I'll leave the Dan, I'll tell you what, I'll turn the Dan Echo off. Ooh, this might be loud. <laughs> I'm just getting warmed up today, guys. Hope you can understand I'm a little sloppy, but uh, cool. All right. That's a little out of control. I think my uh, preferred setting's a little bit lower. You know, just like with Tube Screamers. Uh, you guys have ever seen videos we've done on Tube Screamers or overdrive pedals. I always like kind of just a nice gentle kiss, kind of putting the thing gently into compression. I, I feel like overdrive sound a little bit on the poopy side when you get super high on the drive and, and you're just pushing things a little crazy. I mean, maybe if that's the sound you're looking for, but I don't know. If you love the characteristic of a clean Fender amp, there's just nothing like a, a good little little kiss on the front from an overdrive. Really good stuff. So guys, thank you so much for watching today's demo. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this has been the Dan Electro Daddio. This is like a sub $60 pedal. They're, they're very reasonable. They're out there. They're common. There's tons of them out there. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. We've been on a little bit of a hiatus. I hope you understand uh, the, the content doesn't always come through every Monday and Friday like we would hope to. But usually we post every Monday and Friday here on Guitar Arsenal. So make sure you t tune in, check out the videos, and we'll see you soon. Sorry for the sloppy playing. I'm still getting started today, getting warmed up, getting my hands moving. But uh, appreciate it, all right? I'm going to make a little, more, a little bit more noise, let you guys get back to your day, okay? Here we go. All right, let's see. I'll tr play something other than blues. Let's see. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.